Call, please. Salari? Yes. Panini? Yes. Storino? Yes. Schilling? Yes. Murray? Yes. Mayor Gunther? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, ordinance number 30 of uh, 2009 is the public hearing and adoption of the um, license to Laguna Grill and Martini Bar for trash enclosure. I'll move it. Second. Okay, at this time I'll open the meeting for um, public. Any public comment on ordinance number 30 of 2009? Yes, John. John Johnson, 36 Coquille Beach Drive. <clears throat> Pardon me. I attended the last meeting and I heard, I guess, uh, introduction or whatever you call it for that ordinance. And then I thought about that during the week and I thought, all these other places have trash enclosures. Why are we then making a special ordinance to have a trash enclosure at Laguna Grill? I'll turn it over to uh, Mr. Barber and uh, Mr. McGuire if you want to respond to that. Well, this is something that's been going on for, I guess, about two years now. That we have received numerous complaints about that trash enclosure and some other items that was placed on the public right away. Uh, we then began to negotiate with, uh, with uh, Mr. Paul to try to find a, no a new location to put the trash container and also to bring Somewhat of a mess back there. Uh, the neighbors would complain about the trash and recyclable blowing all over the neighborhood. Um, we looked at a couple locations where possibly he could relocate it. We really didn't find anything, and we thought this was the best solution to make the uh, try to make the neighbors happy to clean up the area. So. And John, I think the other trash enclosures are actually on the private property rather than in the right of way or the sidewalk of the city. Wasn't there a, a, there was a structure that was constructed in the right of way prior to the trash enclosure? Uh, I think there was maybe two, uh, a freezer and... Right, so those structures, those structures have been removed, uh, with this agreement, yes. those structures which included I think a walk-in freezer and whatever else was there have been removed and it's now just a trash enclosure. Well then does that mean you let the other businesses put them on the sidewalk when they want to do it? Well we haven't had a request but that's a... Uh... I think each case has to be investigated on its merits. If there was another location we could have found to have Mr. Blow move that, I think we would have done that. We just couldn't find another place on the floor. This brings everything that's in the right of way in the compliance. Yes. Hopefully. Okay, I guess I understand that then. Well, I, I thought it was when I say hopefully, <coughs> Mr. Plow has a, a way of expanding things uh, without <laughs> permits. So, no, ho hopefully, this will be the only thing that remains there. I think it's that, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank John, you, this also puts this whole matter to bed once and for all. It's cleaned up, so. Any other public comment on this ordinance? Okay, seeing none, um, any uh, comments from council members? Mayor, I, I um, understand fully what John is saying, because I know John's a businessman and he complies with the laws of the city and the ordinances that are put in front of us, and I know that every, every store owner, every organization that has a uh, dumpster puts it on their property and every, believe me, on this little island, every inch of space you have is important. I wish that we could have found another space where uh, Mr. Palilla could have put his dumpster. I know he has a large parking lot, but uh, if that doesn't work, I guess where it's at, I guess it has to be. But um, I do understand what John's saying and I agree with you totally. I just hope that uh, this is the end of expanding on that dumpster area and nothing else appears there. But. Just to let you know to the hotel itself, Celebrity Resorts, not far from Mr. Palo's dumpster, has a dumpster. It's, uh, it's back in, off the right of way a little bit, uh, but 
but it's a very small area, and so not another dumpster could go there. Any other uh, comments by council members? Uh, one issue that I, you know, you, the more you look at things, sometimes the uh, one thing I do like is that this provides for the liability insurance that indemnifies the city um, if, in fact, something were to occur on the sidewalk uh, where the dumpster closure, enclosure is located. Prior to this agreement, there was no indemnification, and, in fact, other structures were built on the sidewalk. The only other question I have, and I hate to bring it up at the last minute, but there always seems to be some um, disagreement as to who owns what at that particular site. And Mr. DeLucre is here, uh, I guess, representing Mr. Palella. Yeah. Is, and I'll ask Mr. McGuire to look at this as well, is Mr. Palella able to sign this agreement, or is this something that Celebrity Resorts needs to sign based on who owns the property? Uh, well, actually, Mr. Pallella can sign because it relates to uh, his operations at the restaurant. And presumably, if the restaurant is no longer there, these things would no longer be needed, and it would probably be a termination of the agreement. But Celebrity really doesn't have a role in it because by way of their lease, they've given over all the responsibility for the restaurant operations to Mr. Pallella, and they don't have an ownership interest in the right of way because the city does. Okay. So, you are, Tim, are you okay with that or in terms of... Uh... Yeah, it's not Celebrity's land, it's our land. So that's what we're going for. And, uh, Mr. Flow, as far as I understand, his corporate entity has a separate condominium ownership of the restaurant and the associated business. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, so I am comfortable. Great. Okay. That's the only question I had. I'm on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can take longer if you'd like. Right? <laughs> okay. Any other uh, issues or surrounding this? Okay. See none. Um, could we have roll call, please? Solari? Yes. Vinani? Yes. Starina? Yes. Schilling? Yes. Murray? Yes. Mayor Gunther? Yes. Motion carried. <laughs> okay, uh, next we have um, resolution 2009 176.